Now the next is position distribution and let us take the first question. Phone calls arrive at the rate of 48 per hour at the reservation desk of a transport company. A. Compute the probability of receiving at least 3 phone calls in a 5 minute interval of time. B. Compute the probability of receiving exactly 10 calls in 15 minutes. C. Suppose no calls are currently on hold if the agent takes 5 minutes to complete the current call how many callers do you expect to be waiting for that time? What is the probability that none will be waiting? D. If no calls are currently being processed what is the probability that the clerk can take 3 minutes for personal time without being interrupted by a call? Now the main information is 48 calls per hour. 48 calls per hour. An important feature of Poisson distribution is it is the probability or the occurrence of any event during a small piece of time is directly proportional to the occurrence of that event in a great span of time. So if we want to find out probability of particular number of calls during a time span of 5 minutes, the average number of calls in 5 minutes period can be taken directly on proportional basis or against 48 calls per hour. 48 calls per hour means 48 calls per 60 minutes. Right. Now A, the time span is 5 minute interval. The base of the first sub question is 5 minute interval. So first of all, average number of calls per 5 minute or mean equals to 48 divided by 60, 48 are calls, 60 minutes into 5 minutes. What will happen? Cancellation of 5 and 16 by 12 and then cancellation of 12 and 48 by 4. That means the mean number of calls for a time span of 5 minutes is 4. Mean is 4 for us. And we are going to use the sign of lambda, rather sign of mu, either mu or lambda or m, any sign can be used to indicate the mean in case of a Poisson distribution. Now we have mean of 4. We just require to find out the value of e raised to minus mean, that means e raised to minus 4. For this purpose, we can use a table which gives the readily available values of e raised to minus mean. In our leaflet, that is on the page number 938. 938. e raised to minus 4. The value is 0 0.0183. 0 0.0183. Now the question is, what is the probability of at least 3 calls during 5 minute interval of time? The probability of at least 3 calls. First of all, what do we mean by at least 3? That is probability of 3 or more. That means probability of R greater than or equal to 3. 
Now we know that R means from 0 to N. In this particular case, we don't know the value of N. That is the first problem. And number two, as we know, Poisson distribution was derived by Simon D. Poisson as the limiting case of binomial distribution. And the main feature of Poisson distribution is N is comparatively large as against in case of binomial distribution. N is very large, so 3 or more means from 3 to N. It is not at all feasible or rather possible to calculate probability of 3, 4, 5 and so on up to N and then to get the summation of all this. So we can use the complement event. What is the complement event for 3 or more? 2 or less is the complement event to the event 3 or more. We can find the probability of 2 or less then subtract the probability from 1 the result is probability of 3 or more. So first we are going to find the probability of 2 or less. So probability of R greater than or equal to 3 means 1 minus probability of R less than or equal to 2 more precisely we need 1 minus P of 0 plus P of 1 plus P of 2 as this is the very first question we are going to find all these three probabilities separately otherwise in case of Poisson distribution we can find all these sorry summation of all these three probabilities at a stretch but in the very first case we are not going to go for any type of shortcut so first of all probability of R success is according to Poisson distribution is E raised to minus mean into mean raised to R upon R factorial you know that E is base of the natural logarithm system and the constant value of E is 2.71828 now first of all we are going to calculate P of 0 we all know that P of 0 is ultimately E raised to minus mean but in the first case we are going to show the steps of calculation E raised to minus 4 into 4 raised to 0 upon 0 factorial that means 0 0.0183 into now anything raised to 0 becomes 1 and we know that 0 factorial is also 1 so P of 0 comes to 0 0.0183 and 0 0.0183 is nothing it is actually value of E raised to minus 4 and E raised to minus 4 is actually E raised to minus mean so we can general we can derive a general conclusion that every time in case of a Poisson distribution P of 0 that means P of no occurrence of or P of none is ultimately E raised to minus mean in that particular case yes now P of 1 P of 1 again E raised to minus 4 into 4 raised to 1 upon 1 factorial e raised to minus 4 means 0 0.0183 into 4 upon 1 multiply 0 0.0183 by 4 what is the result 0 0.0732 is it this is p of 1 now p of 2 so P of 2 equals to E raised to minus 4 into 4 raised to 2 upon 2 factorial. That means 0 0.0183 into 4 raised to 2 means 16. 2 factorial means 2 into 1, 2. 2 remains 2 but cancellation of 2 and 16 by 8. So ultimately 0 0.0183 into 8. That is nothing. This is double of this amount. It is 0. 
that is P of 2. Now we can find the final answer. Probability of at least 3 equals to 1 minus P of 0 means 0 0.0183 plus P of 1 means 0 0.0732 plus P of 2 means 0.1464. That means 1 minus summation of these 3 comes to 2196 plus 1, 2296, 2299, 2379. Yes, 1 minus 0.2379. That means probability of at least 3 comes to 0 0.7621. Is it? The original data available was 48 phone calls per hour or per 60 minutes. Ultimately, we have now found the probability of at least 3 phone calls in the time span of 5 minutes. Now the sub question B or number 2. And in that question, we require to compute the probability of receiving exactly 10 calls in 15 minutes. Probability of receiving exactly 10 calls in 15 minutes. So the important point is time span 15 minutes interval. So first we require to get the mean or average number of phone calls per 15 minutes. So mean will be now 48 phone calls per 60 minutes into 15 minutes. So it comes to 12. That means e raised to minus mean is now e raised to minus 12 quite a large value of mean particularly for Poisson distribution now we know that if we multiply the same base with different powers it is the addition of powers so e raised to minus 12 is e raised to minus 10 into e raised to minus 2 because in our table, the value of mean is available up to 10 only. So, e raised to minus 10 is point and then 4 zeros and 4 5. Into e raised to minus 2 is 0.1353 or more precisely it comes to 1.13534. Now just give me the value of this function. Zero point, then five zeros, is it? Five zeros, yes. And six zero we can take nine instead of double eight. So this is the value of e raised to minus twelve. This is actually the example of limitation of Poisson distribution. If value of mean increases, calculations with the help of Poisson distribution become very clumsy or complicated, particularly manually or with the help of a simple calculator. In such type of cases, actually it is advisable to go for normal distribution if we have the data from which we calculate the standard deviation. Now, exactly 10 calls. We require to find out the probability of exactly 10 calls in 15 minutes. So, exactly 10 call means only 10 equals to e raised to minus mean into mean raised to 10 mean raised to r means mean raised to 10 
upon 10 factorial. Leave this answer at this stage only because in that type of cases we do not require to give any numerical answer. This is just case of playing with small numbers. So we are going to calculate C. The C and question C and question D are applied questions. So keep your concentration on understanding the two sub questions. Sub question C is suppose no calls are currently on hold. No calls are currently on hold. If the clerk takes 5 minutes to complete the current call, one call is actually is actually handled by the clerk. If the clerk takes 5 minutes to complete the current call, how many callers do you expect to be waiting by that time? That means and at the end of this period of 5 minutes, how many calls do you expect to be waiting? That means we require to give the expected number of phone calls coming on the board during this 5 minutes period. That means our first answer of sub question A mean for 5 minutes period and that was 4. So we can expect 4 calls waiting at the end of this 5 minutes period. And the second part of the question is what is the probability that none will be waiting. The base of question C is again 5 minute period or time interval. The scenario is no phone call is in waiting at present. The clerk is answering a call at present which will take 5 minutes from now. How many phone calls we can expect to be waiting at the end of this 5 minutes period or at the end of 5 minutes from now? So expected value means we know that ultimately it is mean. Expected number of calls waiting at the end of 5 minutes means we are going to receive or we are expected we are expecting to receive in this 5 minutes period. Expected number of calls means ultimately mean and mean for 5 minutes is nothing it is 48 by 16 into 5 and that is 4. So we can expect that at the end of these 5 minutes, 4 calls will be waiting when the clerk ends or completes talking on the current call. What is the probability no phone call will be waiting? No phone call will be waiting that means 0 phone call coming on the board during this 5 minute interval. So probability of no phone call waiting equals to probability of 0 Probability of 0 means e raised to minus mean into mean raised to 0 upon 0 factorial. That means e raised to minus mean into 1 upon 1. That means 0 0.0183. A similar type of sub question is there in D. The sub question D says, if no calls are currently being processed, that means no call is in waiting and no call is being answered at present. The clerk is actually free at this moment. What is the probability that the clerk can take 3 minutes for personal time without being interrupted by a call? That means time span is 3 minutes and what is the probability of receiving no phone call during these 3 minutes. But first of all the important thing is time span of 3 minutes. So first we have to find out the mean value for 3 minutes. Mean will be 48 by 60, 48 calls divided by 60 minutes into 3 minutes. Yes, anybody? 60 and 3 cancel by 20. So 48 divided by 20 means 2.4 calls. We can expect 2.4 calls. 
तो e रेस टू माइनस मीन विल बी e रेस टू माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर द आंसर इज अवेलेबल इन टू डिफरेंट वेज फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फ्रॉम द टेबल द डायरेक्ट वैल्यू इज ऑल्सो अवेलेबल टू फॉर टू पॉइंट फोर इट इज जीरो पॉइंट जीरो नाइन जीरो सेवन और e रेस टू माइनस टू पॉइंट फोर मीन्स e रेस टू माइनस टू इंटू ई रेस टू माइनस फोर माइनस पॉइंट फोर अदर एंड e रेस टू माइनस टू मीन्स पॉइंट वन थ्री फाइव थ्री इंटू ई रेस टू माइनस पॉइंट फोर मीन्स पॉइंट सिक्स सेवन जीरो थ्री The approximate value of multiplication of these three, these two, comes to 0 0.0907. In this way, also we can find the value. It is totally dependent on the fact at the time of solving the problem, which type of table do you have with you. Now, 0 0.0907. Again. Probability of no interruption during these three minutes means probability of getting no phone call during these three minutes. So probability of no call means probability of zero, and we now know very well that ultimately it is e raised to minus mean, but nothing. So it comes to point zero nine zero seven. Okay, thank you.